federal mandate, which President Trump says means that Obamacare is essentially gone. We, I hate to say this, but we essentially repealed Obamacare because we got rid of the individual mandate, which was terrible. And that was a primary source of funding of Obamacare. Josh, uh, did they get rid of Obamacare? Is it gone? Uh, they didn't. I mean, they have they, they have uh, thrown some punches at Obamacare, and some of them have landed. Uh, some of it had to do with cutting funding for advertising, encouraging people to sign up, shrinking down the enrollment period, and of course, taking away the indi individual mandate is going to have an impact uh, as well. I, I think the biggest problem with that is people are still signing up for Obamacare, and when they see those uh, rates increasing, they now know who they're going to blame. They're no longer going to complain the people who originally wrote the bill. They are going to c uh, complain and blame uh, the people who have made changes that have made the system uh, less effective. Uh, and I think that's uh, another rock in the pack uh, mm -hmm. that Republicans are going to be toting uphill in the next election. So, Susan, why would Susan Collins or Lisa Murkowski vote for a bill that uh, so undermines Obamacare and so helps the richest while uh, not helping the working class in their state. Well, Lisa Murkowski got drilling, so we know that. She had, she, there was something she wanted and they were able to fill it. Now, Susan Collins is a very different story. She was promised some workarounds on, on health insurance and guess what? That's not happening in, the, by, in this month and that's what she really is in a difficult situation because she was insistent on it. It's also going to. So she was lied to. Yes, she was told one thing and they didn't deliver it to her. And it makes me wonder what's going to happen next year because as we look forward, is this potentially the last thing that we see done before 2018? What can get done going forward? Because now you have even more senator Republican senators who can't trust the administration. Democrats are digging in because they're saying, "Hey, this is what we've got to run on." Where are we going to get any bipartisan support to get anything done of measure? And that's why any big reform like tax reform or health care, I mean, didn't happen under, under Obamacare. But to be successful, we need bipartisanship. We need leaders. There's a reason why they work so hard. And there was a reason why Democrats were concerned when Donald Trump came into the White House and promised a populist moment. Let's not forget, this tax cut was supposed to be married with infrastructure. That was where he was moving. That's where the Democrats were concerned that they were going to have to actually get on board with a Trump mm -hmm. agenda. Donald Trump changed that. He changed what was good for this country to winning for him. And winning for him is solely what is good for Donald Trump, not what's good for the country or what's good for the party. Well, and boy, I'll tell you what, you look at Donald Trump right there. He, he and his family, uh, if you uh, look at most estimates of what this tax bill means for them, makes the family hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. It may, actually this bill may add up to be one of the, the greatest windfalls for, uh, financial windfalls for any president uh, that's ever signed a bill. Um, it, it, the family, at least hundreds of millions of dollars uh, from, from what's in this tax bill. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories.